The KF-21 Borome fighter jet developed by Indonesia and South Korea has successfully flown. The two countries are also happy with the results of the trial, because it means that the KF-21 Borome can proceed to the next stage, until it can actually be produced. The fighter aircraft project is considered special, because there is an exchange of knowledge and technology between the two countries. KF-21 Borome is a long project between Indonesia and Korea. Starting from the memorandum of the two countries which expressed their interest in developing fighter aircraft in 2009. Two years later, the Indonesian Ministry of Defense and the Defense Acquisition, DAPA. The Ministry of National Defense of the Republic of Korea signed a memorandum of understanding on the development of the KFX-IFX fighter jet. The KFX-IFX project is funded by the two countries with a cost-sharing system. Indonesia funds 20% of the total project value. In fact, Indonesia and South Korea have collaborated several times to procure the main defense system equipment, Alutsista. It's just cooperation this time is different. Moreover the development of fighter jets will also meet the needs of defense equipment in the country. Aris said that this cooperation was the time for Indonesia to study fighter aircraft technology. He explained, so far Indonesia has always bought planes fighters from abroad so that the platform owned by the aircraft is always according to the manufacturer of the country of manufacture. If it can develop its own fighter jets, Indonesia can create a platform that suits its needs and geographical conditions, he said. He added, buying aircraft from outside also has risks, one of which is if the country imposes an embargo due to certain circumstances, Indonesia could be affected. Senior General Director of the KFX program at DAPA Brigadier General, Pern, Yung Kuang Sun said, through this collaboration, Indonesia could gain knowledge about the development fighter jets in less time than South Korea, which takes longer to learn. Indonesia will have world-class competitiveness in Indonesia Aerospace World, he explained on a similar occasion. Indonesia and Korea will produce 168 fighter jets through this cooperation. In accordance with the distribution of financing, Indonesia will get 48 units, while South Korea 120 units. Yung added that there would be export potential with the KF-21 Borome as well. Of course when the plane has been produced, we believe Indonesia and South Korea can penetrate the market. The reason is, there is a need to replace Generation 4 fighter jets in a number of countries. Benefits for RE from collaboration on the KF-21 fighter jet project with South Korea Secretary General of the Ministry of Defense for the 2010-2013 period, Marsjia TNI, Pern, Aris Harianto, said that the collaboration on the manufacture of Indonesian South Korean fighter jets provided a number of benefits and opportunities for Indonesia. Aris also mentioned the various benefits in question. The first is the exchange of knowledge in the field of combat aircraft technology said Aris in an online workshop entitled, 11 Years and Counting, Assessing Indonesia-Korea Defense Cooperation by FPCI, which was held on Tuesday, 10 November 2022. Aris said that what was meant by this knowledge exchange was the development of key technology for fighter aircraft and human resources. According to Aris, this fighter aircraft manufacturing technology can also be utilized for the defense and non-defense industries. Second, the design of the IFX fighter aircraft is considered to meet the operational needs of the Indonesian Air Force. Third, the freedom to determine the configuration of fighter aircraft can guarantee the ability to develop sustainable fighter aircraft technology. Furthermore, reducing dependence, buying, on foreign countries if we can make our own fighter planes, he said. Aris continued that the fifth benefit of making their own fighter planes is a matter of maintenance, repair, modification and integration of capable weapons do it yourself. Sixth is operational costs which are certainly cheaper. Finally, it is opening opportunities for export of fighter aircraft, said Aris. According to Aris, this export opportunity must be seen from the side of the marketing strategy. There are a number of things that need to be considered when entering the aircraft export market combat. For example, by involving political leaders in each country as a marketing communication tool. It can be from the leaders of each country, their ministers, the air force in that country, and so on, said Aris. The intricacies and challenges of the KF-21 Borome, 
the re south korean fighter jet project secretary general of the ministry of defense for the 2010 to 2013 period mars jia tni pern aris harianto said that indonesia south korea cooperation in the field of defense has quite a long history relations between the two countries in the field of defense began with the signing of a letter of intent LOI, on March 6, 2022. Signed at the Merdeka Palace, in the presence of President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono and President Lee Myung Bak, whose signature was the Secretary General of the Ministry of Defense. Then after the 2009 signing, it was increased to a Memorandum of Understanding on July 15, 2010, he said in the third Indonesian Next Generation Workshop. Journalist Network on Korea which was held by the Foreign Policy Community of Indonesia, FPCI, and the Korea Foundation which was held some time ago. Aris continued that in April 2022, a project agreement, PA, had been agreed for the Technology Development, TD, or KFX, IFX Combat Aircraft Development Stage by the Indonesian Ministry of Defense and the South Korean Ministry of Defense or DAPA Rock. On 6 October 2014, RE and South Korea agreed to start the Engineering and Manufacturing Development EMD, stage. Development of KFX, IFX Combat Aircraft. ARIS revealed the most important stages in the development project for the KFX, IFX fighter jet, now known as the KF-21 Borome. The most important moment for that was on October 17, 2014. Presidential Regulation I No. 136 of 2014 concerning the IFX aircraft development program was issued. This is important because all ministries should be involved, he explained. After that, the Ministry of Defense appointed PT Durgantara Indonesia, PTDI, as the Indonesia Industry Participant, IIP, in implementing the KFX, IFX program. The appointment of PTDI refers to the Ministry of Defense's Head of Research and Development Letter No. B. 2021, X. 2014. Next, said ARIS, on January 7, 2016 agreed on the Cost Share Agreement, CSA, Engineering Manufacturing Development Stage for the development of the KFX, IFX fighter aircraft. At the same time, PTDI and CHI signed the Work Assignment Agreement, WA for the engineering manufacturing development stage of the KFX, IFX fighter aircraft. At the final stage or to be precise on February 11, 2016, the Ministry of Defense issued a legal basis in the form of Minister of Defense Regulation No. 6 of 2016 concerning the IFX combat aircraft development program. After going through the stages during that period, Indonesia and South Korea officially started the KF-21 Borome fighter jet development program. ARIS explained the specifications of the agreed fighter jets both countries, namely 4.5 generation fighter aircraft with capabilities, including semi-stealth, smart avionics with sensor fusion, beyond and within visual range weapon system, highly maneuverable, and interoperability concept. With the cooperation with Korea, he said of course Indonesia wants to be able to increase its capabilities in mastering fighter aircraft, especially the 4.5 generation. One way is by increasing the technology readiness level. For production capabilities, Indonesia wants to be a supplier for KFX, IFX aircraft components. In accordance with the law, we should be able to carry out MRO operations in carrying out operations, maintenance, repair, operation, and we also hope to be able to modify and upgrade the aircraft that are being worked on with South Korea, he said. Specifically for the KF-21 Borome aircraft, there are several differences that suit Indonesia's wishes. He gave an example, for example the runway in Indonesia is 1,800 meters long, then it requires a drag chute. Because Indonesia's territory is 5,100 meters wide, it requires external fuel tanks and water refueling to be able to cover the entire area. We hope this can be mastered in this collaboration, he concluded. ARIS revealed that there were several challenges faced by Indonesia in the project to manufacture the KF-21 Borome fighter jet with South Korea. First, he said that the Indonesian government did not receive a copy of the cooperation contract between the South Korean government and Korea Aerospace Industries Limited, KAI, and Korea Aviation Obstruction Light Co. Limited, CAL, during the tender. ARIS revealed that at that time the parties participating in the auction were KAI and CAL where in the end the tender was won by Kai. 
He said Kai became the contract holder from the South Korean government for the development of KFX, IFX. The problem is that Indonesia never got a copy of the contents the contract so that it was time to sign the cost share agreement with Kai. In my opinion, this is not one level, we should be in touch with the Korean government, he added. Even so, this is still being done because Kai has obtained contract rights from the Korean government to carry out an agreement with the Indonesian government. The second obstacle, he continued, was related to succession in the government in South Korea. Aris said the South Korean side had postponed the cooperation due to the change of President Lee Myung back to Park Jun Hai in 2012. At that time, a change of government in Korea had to be submitted to the parliament for permission. This project had just started after almost 18 months we didn't do that activity, he said. Third, Aris said there were problems related to delays in cost-share payments agreements for projects totaling 24.8 trillion Indonesian rupees or 8 billion won. As is known, the Korean government bears 60% of the financing for the KF-21 project Borame and the rest must be paid by the Indonesian government and Kai at 20% each. According to him, the problem is the allocation of the project budget KF-21 based on the presidential decree cannot be changed for the benefit of the ministry, namely the Ministry of Defense. Finally, he revealed the stages in the activity joint development had to be delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic that has hit the world in the last two years. In fact, Indonesia and South Korea are committed to starting production KF-21 Borame fighter jets after 2026. The Indonesian government must pursue delays to comply with the initial agreement. Barriers due to cost share and COVID-19 must be discussed with the South Korean side how to catch up with this, he said.